Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how to use the HLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. Here in this example, I have the data of the sales quantities of different electronic products in the month of January to December. In the second table, I need to fill the quantity sold for these three products and for the month of April, May and June. In this case, I can use the HLOOKUP function to get the data from this first table to this second table. First of all, let's look into the theoretical description of the HLOOKUP function that I can see by pressing is equal to here, then type the HLOOKUP function. Here you see the HLOOKUP function looks for a value in the top row of a table or array of values and returns the value in the same column from a row you specify. It means that the HLOOKUP function will look for a value in the top row of a table array. Here our table array is this one, the source table, where in the top row there are product names. In the second table, we need the quantity sold information for these products. So every single product here will be looked up here in the top row. And when the product is found here in the top row, then it will return the value in the same column from a row you specify. When this television is found here in the top row, then it will travel in the same column and we need to provide the row index number in the formula. For the April month, the row index number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when the television is found, it will display the result from the fifth row because April month is on the fifth row of the table array. So this is how the HLOOKUP function works. Now let me use the formula here in this first cell by pressing is equal to then type the HLOOKUP function. Now open parenthesis. In the lookup value parameter, click on the product name that is given here. Now lock this row number 3 because when we copy the formula down, this row should remain constant. To lock the row only, press the F4 key two times in the keyboard. That applies the dollar symbol before row number 3. Now give a comma. In the table array parameter, select the source data this way. Then lock this whole range by pressing the F4 key one time. Then give a comma. In the row index number, we have to provide in which row our result is. The result for the April month is on the fifth row of this table array. So we have to put here 5 in the row index number. Then give a comma. In the range lookup, choose the exact match option by double clicking. Now close parenthesis, then press enter. Here you see the quantity is given as 28, which is picked up from this sale. This is the quantity sold for television in the month of April, which is 28 unit. Now drag this formula down for May and June. Then change the row index number for May, that should be 6. So here click on the formula bar then change 5 to 6. For the June month the row index number should be 7. So here click on the formula bar then change the row index number to 7. Then press enter. Here I changed the row index number manually because I have only 3 row to use the formula. But if you are working in a big data where you have too many row to use the formula then applying the Row index number manually takes a lot of time. In that case, you can combine the match function with HLOOKUP to automate the row index number, which we will learn in the upcoming video tutorial. Now you can select these three cells, then drag the formula for remaining two products. And here you see all the sales quantity is now filled. So this is how we can use the HLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel to populate the data from one table to another and this was for today's video if you want to practice this function then you can download the practice workbook file from the video description below if you are visiting this channel for the first time i request you to subscribe and turn on all the notifications so that you will get similar kind of video updates in future thank you very much for watching we will again meet in next video tutorial